Understanding, Bark the Blues, an English language exploration. Hello everyone, today, we're going to explore an interesting phrase in English, Bark the Blues. This expression isn't very common, but it's a great example of how colorful and creative the English language can be. So, let's dive in and understand what it means and how you can use it in your conversations. Bark the blues is a phrase that combines two words, each with its own distinct meaning. Bark often refers to the sound a dog makes, but in this context, it symbolizes expressing oneself vocally. The blues, on the other hand, is a music genre known for its melancholic and soulful tunes, often associated with expressing sadness or hardship. When put together, Bark the Blues suggests vocalizing one's sorrows or frustrations, much like how blues music expresses emotional struggles. It's a metaphorical way of saying someone is openly sharing their woes or disappointments. You might not hear, bark the blues, in everyday conversation, but it's a phrase that can add flair to your language. Here's how you can use it. Describing emotions, after losing his job, he spent the evening barking the blues with his friends. In creative writing, it's a great phrase for poems or songs to convey a character's emotional state. Humorously, to lightly joke about someone who is complaining a lot, you might say, Stop barking the blues and let's find a solution. Understanding, bark the blues, also involves a bit of cultural context. The blues is an American music genre with African-American roots. It's important to recognize this cultural origin when using phrases like this, as it reflects the deep emotional and historical significance of the blues music tradition. I hope this video has given you a better understanding of the phrase, bark the blues. Remember, language is not just about words, but also about the emotions and cultures they represent. Happy learning, and don't forget to use this new phrase in your English conversations. See you in the next video.